a new day in the kingdom of cannabis. Like most traditional people from both past and present times, early humans knew their immediate environment quite intimate enough through various experiences and diverse information passed on orally starting with their ancestors. It took me my entire teenage years and young adulthood to finally figure out the use of learning history and how that applies on a daily basis. You can definitely relate to this, right? But how did this early humans learn to walk in this brand new environment they found themselves? As one learns to do everything, I suppose. They baby stepped into the world and boy, what an adventure that was. With little things known and excitement for everything around them, they wandered around this land in order to find purpose. Some of their key elements of survival included local plants, animals and organic materials, which you could easily remark while analyzing their hunting equipment who had been also fabricated from local plants and animal sources. Basically, they used whatever they found handy in order to provide for themselves and make a better living. Just like people from all over Disney kingdoms, especially now that Villain Ice Age was nowhere to be seen. While humans started figuring out life, King Cannabis was busy blooming somewhere by the river. What a life. Who wouldn't want to be king, right? As the newly introduced cannabis population started to grow larger and larger, so did their curiosity regarding mostly everything. They got to experiment processes of trial and error in order to find the true uses of cannabis or in Disney World to find a hidden agenda of their king. The surprise these people had was the fact that apparently their king had come bearing so much gifts and nothing maleficent. They learned that you could peel bark from the hollow cannabis stalk. They experimented with basically all the parts and chops that cannabis could allow one to experiment, getting to develop strong, durable and waterproof cords as a basic step, which later turned into spinning yarn and weaving cloth with hemp fiber. When that epiphany happened, they realized that hemp fiber was basically their golden ticket, magic beans or enchanted castle. Soon enough, they marked another stepping stone and unwrapped another gift King Cannabis has made. But this one was meant to reach their mind and core. The mind-altering resin that could have opened new doors of perception for early people. This was also a gift that King Cannabis received from its very own bloodline, going way back to its ancestors. The group realized its many possibilities and so they used this plant as a food supplement, a source of fiber, fuel, medicine, and they revered its psychoactive properties as a mental elixir for relaxation, recreation, and spiritual communication. Most importantly, they spread the news of their beloved King Cannabis his gifts whenever they could, carrying with them seeds as they migrated towards unknown land. If you think this story about King Cannabis and its kingdom is quite interesting, stick around for more.